Today we are back at big and silent and white and window. Meet the Be Quiet Silent Bass 802 Window White. A case with a, a ton of interchangeable options, but you know what? They include most of them. That's the first. But no, let's skip the, the random stuff I come up with before an intro, cause yeah, it is big and you know if it's big, it's going to be long. Let's start with the general stuff. Be Quiet, I guess still mid tower case is available in two versions. An 802 uh, with two solid panels and a 802 window coming with that four millimeter thick tempered glass side panel that we are looking at today. Then for each version, there is a white and a black sub version. A bit like the Fandax Evolve X case, opening up a Be Quiet case is not uh, the most straightforward process considering that we've all been trained to look at thumb screws before we first touch a game. First of all, before actually getting to the PC, we'll be greeted with a bunch of different stuff like this replacing dust filter and a front cover, as well as this hard drive cage, all of which we will get to in a minute. The important point I, I want to get are these rails. Before actually starting to work on anything, I highly recommend to put these on by placing their connecting ends in into the holes on each side of the case and clicking them in. Funnily enough, although the Be Quiet manual for the ADU2 is pretty respectable, it does not mention these feet even a single time. That should maybe be changed cause I can imagine that somebody somewhere is sitting without those, uh, th those feet on there with either a scratch case, a scratch desk or a power supply playing a choking game because somebody forgot to tell poor Peter over here that he's supposed to lift that PC up a few centimeters. Anyway, to open up the case it's actually easier than, than even the easiest thumb screw you saw until now. Press the bottom, slightly put it up, lift it up both sides that's it, really freaking easy and now you can start working on putting your little snowman together. But with what? In terms of motherboard support, we are looking at standard ATX or even up to E80X support. Conveniently enough, Be Quiet even made sure to include little legends stamped onto the motherboard tray so that we know where to put in the spaces that come included with the case. And over the course of this review, just try to catch those little perks and, and help us that be quiet themselves try to squeeze into this thing. It's a well thought through case. On the CPU cooler end, we are actually pretty gifted. With up to 185mm high coolers, there is not a lot that could not fit into this thing. On the GPU side, it uh, looks just as good. With up to 432mm long cards inside of this behemoth, we can go with basically everything we could ever dream of. And even vertical support is baked in. By using those two extra PCIe slots and a 90 degree angled PCIe riser, we can showcase what our liver went for in its full glory. However, only if we do not use this hard drive bracket holder to which we will get exactly now. By squeezing the two ends of one of those hiding plates, we can push out the hard drive cover through the front of the case. Then this reveals the mounting holes that we can use to mount down the hard drive bracket that comes with the case. Now what's really cool about this is that there is a bunch of random seeming holes that can be filled with four of these rubberized, uh, I, I, I don't know, screw holders? I think stuff like that doesn't, doesn't really have a name, I guess. Anyway, by sliding the bracket in there and screwing it down from behind the case, we just created a new hard drive mounting case. In total, you can install five of these cages that can house a total of five three and a half inch drives and just keep in mind that you will need to buy four more of these separately there's only one included out of the box that being said these rubbers actually serve a double purpose because if you order them closer together we had now created essentially a two and a half inch SSD spot in the top and the bottom of this thing. So that means that counting all five together, we are looking at up to 10 SSD drive. But that's just for now, cause we can keep going. Behind the motherboard plate, there is a removable SSD holder plate that can be used to house two additional two and a half inch SSDs. Then because that's still not enough, we got another placement right next to the fan hub, which we will conveniently ignore for now, cause that better fits into the narrative of this video. But we are still not done because we've got another double hard drive cage which is exactly what it sounds like. The same type of cage as in the front, just two stacked on top of each other. Finishing the total score on 15 SSDs or 7 hard drives and 3 additional SSDs. That, that, that's a, 
a very high count. On a positive note, that double cage in the bottom is actually removable, just exactly how I like it. With the quick backflip though, if you use one of those lowest two hard drive spots, you will limit the GPU length to 287mm. Okay, now let's go to the really important stuff, cause in the end, this is still a Be Quiet case and if there's one thing that Be Quiet is known for, it's freaking cooling. But before that, to even have access to all of the fans, we need to remove the cover. The front one can simply be slided out at the top, but it's the top one that are so damn interesting. After just pulling on both of these little pieces here, we can reveal the top fan bracket. But instead of the usual approach, the fan are not going to be mounted on top of that bracket or underneath it, but instead it is mounted on a different one slightly underneath. To get it out, simply remove the two screws keeping it in place and slowly pull it out. And voila! It even stays in place. How, how cool is that? Now, as a grand total, we have support for up to three 120s or 140 fans in the front, three 120s or 140s in the top, and a 120 or 140 in the back. Really not that shabby at all. To make things even better, Be Quiet also squished a couple of extra breathing holes here and there, like above the back fan and kind of funneling it through the, the top and out in the back of the of the side panel. It's, it's weird, but it's like the air which is going into here is coming out like through through the whole case and in the back. It's, I don't even believe I can test this, but the air is going somewhere. As this is a Be Quiet case, you might also expect, let's say, high quality Be Quiet fans, and you would be right. Included in a silent base 802, Be Quiet adds three of their pure wing to 140mm fans. These absolutely case focused fans are spinning at up to 1000 rpm while pushing 61 CFM at 0.76 millimeters of H2O. Although these are probably one of the lowest tier of Be Quiet fans you can get right now, these are definitely more than enough to get you started. Don't, don't think that you need to get any additional fans after getting the case. This will be more than enough considering you don't. You don't overdo it on the on the CPU and underdo it on the cooler. One of the coolest things about, about this case is the included fan hub located in the back of the case. There we will find a 6.3 pin hub powered on by SATA power. There are several cool things about this thing. First, you have a switch at the top of the case where you can choose between four different modes. 3, 2, 1 and auto. My best guess would be 3, 2, 1 is basically 175, 50, but like, that's really hard to, to find out. While auto just jumps to the PVM cable that you can hook up to the motherboard and then go back to motherboard. I already had cases with fan controllers and, and like fan switches like that before, but until now I was never a fan, never. Now I am. Not only does the whole IO panel feel really high quality, but the fact that you can jump back to motherboard control makes this actually useful in, in the first place. Very, very good job, be quiet. But while we're at it, right next to the controller we've got two USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A's, one USB 3.2 Gen 2 type C and an audio in and out. Going back to the cooling part, for radiators, this case is, is really close to them perfect. Support for a up to 420 red in the front, a 360 or 280 red in the top, and a up to 140 or 120 in the back. Ah, it's it's so close. 420 in the top would have been Perfect. But to get radiator support in the front going, we need to remove something. The top of the power supply shroud is covered in these plastic clipped in covers. These things are supposed to, I, I, I don't know, hide things underneath and, and possibly create like a two cham chamber design if, if that's what you're going for. However, the mini cover in the front must be removed in order to, to make space for a radiator in there. And now where we have that, that PSU shroud completely naked, let's talk about that uh, special and uh, hidden fan placement, yeah, it's more, more special needs. Uh, according to the manual, we can remove the hard drive bracket behind the PSU, and then we can mount an additional 120 or 140 fan from the bottom. Oh my god, this, oh, this is the most ugliest thing I have ever seen. I have no idea who thought this would be a good idea, but he was definitely wrong. To be honest, I'm I'm kind of pissed about how Be Quiet handled the PSU shroud. I do believe that they left 
way too much cooling potential on, on the table. Let's start with, with this thing. It's ugly, it's wrong, but most importantly, based on Be Quiet's own ADU2 data sheet, that one spot is, is the only available fan spot in the bottom of the case. However, if we look behind the power supply placement, there are even rails. There are rails present for both 120s and 140 fans. As it turns out, even after taking one of Be Quiet's own pure power 1000 watt, 1000 watt power supplies, we can mount two of their 140 mm silent wings behind the PSU. Absolutely no problem. No cable issues. Everything fits perfectly fine. Nowhere, and I mean nowhere in the manual, are they even remotely mentioning that? And what pisses me off the most is that there is even a full length dust filter removable from the front that covers both of these fan spots. This ain't even funny anymore. Now coming back to that uh, top portion of the PSU tunnel, I do not understand why they did not just continue to do the exact same like honeycomb like design from the back to the very front. No, they, they thought let's do this freaking abomination. I believe there is quite a lot of potential that was lost that should definitely be used for any future update. First of all, make this a fact and then ditch this thing and repeat this pattern and, and, and this time around add potential 120mm fan holes on top of the PSU tunnel because that would create the potential of a absolutely insane airflow machine. The funny thing about a scenario like this is that usually it's useless. Inside the silent base 802, however, there is so much space behind and above the power supply that this would even freaking work. Even the back fan would end up pushing some amount of air directly into the GPU. How amazing is that? The case is big enough for that. And not even talking about the fact that a triple 120mm fan setup wouldn't even hurt the front radiator support. Just just look at this, this was meant to be. So please, for any future updates, consider this overall change. Especially because users still have the possibility to, to leave those hiding plates on top of that and just not use any of these features. And on a quick side note, the hiding plates on the top are uh, magnetic, while the bottom ones are using plastic clip-ins, which are really easy to break and I don't like them. And that's uh, freaking annoying, so please make all of these use magnets. While we are already talking about the whole cooling side of the case, let's also start with the interchangeable front and top panel. One of the coolest features about the Be Quiet Silent Base 802 is that the whole thing is covered in sound damping mat. Both the back panel, front panel and top panel are stuffed with this material that makes them surprisingly freaking heavy. But mainly it blocks sound as much as possible. This is of course a, a really really cool thing, however it is definitely not the best for temperature control. For exactly this reason, the 802 case comes with interchangeable elements for the front and top panel. By simply removing the pre-installed one and putting on the mesh filter that, by the way, looks pretty freaking good, that's why I have it right here, you just enhance the potential airflow of your case by a bazillion percent. <laughs> there is just no comparison between the two scenarios. Of course, this will also affect the noise quite heavily depending on the fans that you have. Not that the case will be you know, loud in a operation like this, this, it's just sound damping material will always be better. Just take a listen. On the bright side, the cooling will also be significantly better. In another video that we, we filmed a couple of days ago, we had the sound damping material on here with the 12900K and the Shadowrock 3, and we had the temps drop down by t at least 2 degrees C on the package, uh, just by replacing the front panel, which is pretty freaking good. To finish off this review, what was good and what was bad? Overall, the case has a really good build quality. It is quite sturdy, and the only part that wiggles a tiny bit is the motherboard plate, but everything else is pretty much okay. The only negative point that I have about the build quality is the overall use of plastic left and right. There are just pieces of, of the case that for some reason are made out of plastic and I can feel it and see it and it kind of annoys me. Like for example the seeable part of the PSU tunnel. Why is that made out of plastic? Then also the fact that the feet are made out of plastic. It like... Mm, that's... 
a bit more metal, a bit less plastic. On the cable management side, it's very much okay. We've got our usual cable holes spread across the, the whole case and more than enough space behind the case to cram those cables in there. On the compatibility end, it's almost perfect. CPU cooler height, GPU length, fan support is all perfect. The only thing that would have made it, you know, 100% exceptional would be 420 support in the top, but yeah. Also very noticeable is the insane SSD and hard drive support. 15 SSDs is not bad, especially because, you know, you can also not do it and it looks good. On the could have been better side, I believe that there is just too much untapped potential with that PSU shroud and potential fan support underneath. Having fans in there and having another triple 120mm setup on top would pull so much air through the bottom of the case and then just blast it through the whole chamber, it would have been insane and creating insane cooling potential inside this case. Unfortunate, but who knows, uh, maybe for the silent base 803 and, and that one will come with 9 140s and, and 3120 support, who, who knows. But before we get to, to any extras, uh, there is one feature that we have not covered because, uh, yeah, well, apparently the case is completely reversible. So you could turn everything around and do a reverse build if that's your thing. Great, it just isn't mine. Um, nor do I feel the need to follow Be Quiet's very long video explaining how to do the whole process because I'm like 90% sure that once I will do it I will never find my way back to, to the original state and I kind of like it in the original state so I will leave it in this state. Very important honorable mentions about the case is the fan controller. It's absolutely freaking amazing and that's an important one. It is not usual for case companies to include so many little extras like for example the sound damping front and the non in the, in the airflow front. The same for the top. It's not usual. You have companies that will include zero things and you can do airflow but you need to purchase stuff extra. It is a, a really refreshing look that Be Quiet adds everything out of the box. On the price side the 802 window is going for around 160 or about 180 on new end. Considering that similar cases like the Fantex P600S are going for about the same price I think it's pretty fair. Especially because in here you get three of Be Quiet's fans and which will not only get you 100% going from the start but they are also, you know, quite quiet. So in my opinion, absolute recommendation. Although I would have loved to see the, the horse steroid version of the case, but the original is also very, very good. So for anybody that is looking for both a really airflowy case while allowing you to transform it into an anti-sound chamber, here you go.